a gun. Olivia Gonzalez isn't waiting for police. She's tracking down her own leads to find her sister Kaylee's killer. We're not getting any answers and we're not going to settle for that. Hi. It was Olivia who found the potentially crucial video of her sister and Madison Mogan at a food truck just hours before they were murdered. She also tracked down their Uber driver. I found neighbors ring and camera footage so that I can verify that the Uber driver took her home. She's also raising questions about why her sister called a young man named Jack multiple times the night she was slain. At 2.26 a.m., Kaylee starts to call Jack. Kaylee calls Jack six times between 2.26 a.m. to 2.44 a.m. Gosh, I give you a lot of credit. You're, you're, you're almost like a detective here putting all the pieces. We thought it was interesting that some concerned citizens signed a petition to have Hoodie Guy reinvestigated. November 13, 2022, is the date of the infamous Idaho 4 case. On November 16, 2022, Olivia Goncalves, Kaylee's sister, discovered video of Kaylee, Maddie, and the Hoodie Guy arriving together at the grub truck. Four days later, on November 20, 2022, law enforcement announced that Hoodie Guy was cleared as a suspect. On December 17, 2022, another video was released to the public showing Maddie, Kaylee and Hoodie Guy walking together between the corner club and the grub truck. Hoodie said, They're gonna get you guys for that Maddie. Kaylee said, Maddie, what did you tell Adam? And Maddie said, like, I told Adam everything. We do not believe the following individuals are involved in this crime. The two surviving roommates. A male seen at the grub truck food vendor downtown, specifically wearing a white hoodie a private party who provided uh, rides home to Kaylee and Madison in the early morning hour of November 13th. Keep an eye out for our upcoming video on University of Idaho President Scott Green. Because most of the law enforcement press conferences were held on the University of Idaho campus. And Scott Green was present and spoke at many of those press conferences. He also made the decision to demolish 1122 King Road before the trial. So we became curious about the role he has played in this investigation, if any. Here are a few comments from people explaining why they wanted to sign the petition calling for the reinvestigation of Hoodie Guy. What do you all think? Do you agree with some of the comments? Let us know in our comment section and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Oh by the way, before we go over some of the comments from a few people who signed the petition, we wanted to point out one of Hoodie Guy's alleged alibis. Hoodie Guy was rumored to have traveled to his family cabin in the woods between 3 and 4 a.m. on November 13, 2022. We don't believe Hoodie Guy used that story as his alibi because it's so unbelievable law enforcement would have never cleared him, right guys? I mean, come on. We've all seen the movies. A college kid will only go to a cabin in the woods with a group of friends. Not by himself, right? And it's most likely a planned road trip, starting early in the morning at sunrise. So Hoodie made a spontaneous trip to the cabin by himself at 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning after leaving a bar and walking with two young ladies to the grub truck. And did he plan to take the girls with him to the cabin? Because remember, Hoodie Guy was waiting on the girls to get their orders. What was his plan then? So there has to be another alibi. Because this one doesn't pass the smell test. And we want to know just what that alibi really is. Right? <laughs>